my first impression of Peoria was that it was a small town um, and that there wasn't that much to do. But once I got here, everyone was so warm, so friendly. Driving through Peoria for my interview, I was really amazed and impressed. It's a smaller city, but I, I think that sometimes it actually feels bigger than it really is. Peoria to me is just a great place to live. It's really easy to get around. You don't have to fight traffic after a long day of being on call. Um, and it's really affordable. There are a lot of things I really love about Peoria. As a family, we love to go out and go to orchards. We love to come to the Riverfront Museum. We love to go to the Children's Museum here. We love to go biking. So I love how easy it is to get around. I love the convenience of the community. There's affordable housing. I can truly say it's the best of both worlds. You have a lot of the big city amenities without the traffic, which is awesome. We wanted an international airport and a Costco, and it had both of those. The idea of being able to run to the airport, park for free, and be able to fly anywhere I want to fly, um, I really love that about this community. Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Finkenbein. I'm the program director and chair of the Department of Psychiatry here at the University of Illinois College of Medicine at Peoria. And uh, I believe that the training program here in psychiatry is a terrific program and one that uh, any resident can come and thrive and be successful. We have a program that has uh, four residents per year. Um, the program is one that uh, offers uh, training in a variety of settings and, and environments, including uh, inpatient psychiatry, consultation liaison psychiatry, the very large collaborative hospital, Unity Point Health Methodist. Uh, we have a very, very strong outpatient curriculum that begins uh, in July of the first year with residents who are able to train uh, in psychopharmacology but also in the psychotherapies. Um, and we have a very robust elective outpatient and inpatient and variety of electives in the fourth year. Um, some 26 electives are available currently. We've just added two more in the past few months and include international electives as well. Hi, I'm Sammy. Um, so there was a lot of different things that kind of attracted me to this program. Um, just kind of reflecting back on my interview experiences, I had gone through a lot of interviews uh, for residency and this uh, program really stood out to me. It was probably one of the best uh, interview experiences I had had. Um, just uh, when I came in, all of the faculty, the residents, uh, staff, they were all just very friendly, very approachable. Um, and so I think I knew right away that it was going to be a really great like work culture to be a part of. And so that was something that was really important to me. Um, and then I also knew like just by researching and everything that, you know, we had a very strong um, clinical program uh, here. And then on interview day, um, we just kind of learned even more about the program. I had learned that the therapy program here is like very robust and strong. So the day-to-day -day, um, experience for a resident here can be different depending on what year they are. Um, it can include everything from internal medicine, neurology or family medicine, some of the off-service sites uh, to in in inpatient psychiatry, consultation liaison psychiatry, addictions, geriatrics. We have a forensic experience and a strong community experience as well. I think that what makes our training program special is a little bit cliche, but it's the people. Um, we have uh, phenomenally talented uh, faculty supervisors for um, um, our, both our medical students and our residents um, who have teaching at heart. Um, every single core faculty member that we have has a significant teaching um, portion allotted that includes uh, formal didactic curriculum, uh, classroom and, and uh, group settings, as well as clinical supervision. and the diversity that we have within the faculty makes the uh, program very strong. I think another reason that um, residents 
come to Peoria and, uh, and, and appreciate what we have to offer is that although we have a high interest in having our students um, be uh, very responsible, they also tend to be very aspirational. And we try to match that aspirations by making sure that the program is meeting their needs so that when they graduate, uh, they can go out and do whatever they wish, whether that's going into a fellowship of choice or whether it is in private practice, community settings, working in a hospital, the Veterans Administration System, a forensic setting, um, nursing home. So we make sure that our graduates, every one of them, are, is prepared for um, uh, life afterwards. I've had a lot of very strong experiences uh, working. You know, we have a separate mood disorder unit, a separate psychotic disorder unit. We get um, like outpatient experience very early on. Um, so during our first year, I'm already you know following patients along and I'll be following those same patients uh, over the course of four years, um, which is uh, kind of rare and very cool and I'm really excited about that. You know, a common question that I get um, from interviewees and, and persons who are, are looking to consider our program is what kind of support and balance do we provide uh, in addition to the uh, clinical experience? And I think that balance is incredibly important and we have gone through every single rotation, every single experience that residents have uh, to make sure that they are able to function without residents. And what that means is that the clinical duties and responsibilities are independent of resident and education. In addition, we have a huge variety of opportunities for residents to get engaged in different non-clinical aspects of the program, uh, including from year one, whether that's something more formal and academic like a committee, or whether that is being involved in a volunteer project in the community. Uh, just this morning, I met with a resident talking about a clinic that he wants to set up for uh, the inner city uh, area of Peoria where they could provide free care, um, free behavioral health medicine and, and psychiatry care. Uh, one of the most common questions I get um, from applicants over the past years is, you know, what are we looking for in a resident? And I believe that we have a very robust, eclectic approach to getting the best residents here. A lot of it has to do with match. Does the resident, um, uh, is the resident going to be happy and thrive in our program? And, and likewise, are we going to be able to, to take that resident and across four years turn them from a medical student to not just a physician, but to a great psychiatrist? And so the things that we're looking for is different. It a little bit depends on the interviewee and, and, the, and the things that, uh, the aspects of a program that a resident uh, might be looking for. You know, personally, I, I look for two things, and, and I mentioned one of them uh, earlier, and that is this uh, aspiration to greatness. Um, an openness to learning, if you will. And that is somebody who can come in and say, you know, I want to be great, I want to be successful, I want to be able to go out and do whatever I want after this residency. And, and, and do that in a way that is, you know, comfortable and welcoming. Um, at the same time, that requires a second component that I'm looking for as program director, and that's somebody who has a high degree of responsibility. And that responsibility is uh, to, to patient care, it's responsibility to, um, to attendance to didactic uh, lectures. And, and conferences, uh, but it's also a responsibility to themselves and to their peers so that uh, they do take time off and they do come back from a vacation uh, ready and, and, and ready, ready to learn again. Uh, so I think that's probably the most common question that I've had over the years. Yeah, we have a really great uh, residency group. Um, all of us get along really, really well. There's always something going on. Like every weekend, somebody is planning something. Um, you know, just this, not this last weekend, but the weekend before that, we all went on like a hiking trip. Um, even last weekend, there was some kind of, you know, get together with one of the residents home. And we're all just a very inclusive group. And again, just even at work, like if somebody needs coverage or something like that, everybody's just always willing, both faculty and the residents are just always willing to help each other out whenever it's kind of needed. I sometimes get asked about, you know, what are some of the strengths of the program or the medical community? And um, I, I believe one of the greatest strengths is the, um, and, and what sometimes is surprising to people who, um, who, who look at our program is how much medical community there is, like literally a volume of it. Uh, we have a, a large number of uh, residency programs, um, a growing number of fellowships, a thriving uh, medical student uh, community. We have two major hospitals here with uh, several hundreds of beds, um, two different emergency rooms, uh, three smaller hospitals, all of which psychiatry residents uh, have the experience and opportunity to tap into. And the beauty of it is that you don't have to, you know, drive, you know, 45 minutes across town. Uh, all of it but one hospital um, is within walking distance. 
And so you have this great opportunity to get a robust range of experiences um, w w without uh, the inconvenience of a large city. Um, so our primary uh, location is at Methodist, so that's where we do a lot of our inpatient psychiatry rotations. But uh, during our first year, we do um, a three months of internal medicine, which we do over at OSF Hospital, which is right across the street. Um, and we also do uh, neurology. Our inpatient neurology is also at that OSF Hospital. We do two months of neurology. One is inpatient, one is outpatient. Um, and then the rest of first year is at uh, Methodist. And then our second year, uh, we also go to Proctor for our addiction rotation, which is also you know just about 10 minutes away, so um, not very much commuting at all. So. One of the things I found about Peoria is that it does offer a huge number of opportunities to do any number of different things, whether that is look for fine dining, um, whether it's outdoor activities, um, whether that's uh, biking trails, um, or uh, the arts. Um, we have, I believe, five some odd uh, theater uh, companies or um, outlets in the, in the area. Um, so I, I believe Peoria has a lot of, a lot of things to do. I also think that um, it has a wide range of places to live. So there's sort of different nooks and neighborhoods throughout the area that allow um, applicants who come to, to consider uh, this program uh, different places to live, whether that's an apartment or purchasing a house. Um, it's dirt cheap here, um, it's uh, safe, uh, it's easy to get around. Um, and so I think there's a lot of sort of aspects that you know, people look for uh, when, when coming to, to Peoria that uh, hopefully would match. What brought me to Peoria, one, it was very like, close you know, to the Chicago area with where a lot of my friends, family live. It's only about a two and a half hour drive. And I think Peoria, you know, it's not like a huge city, but it, there's, it's still a pretty good like, mid-sized city. Um, there's still a lot to do. There's still, you know, I like to go out to like restaurants and things, and they do have a lot of variety. You know, a little bit of Thai, Indian, um, Vietnamese. There's some good like hiking trails around the area. I love the cost of living here. Um, everything is so cheap. I could not believe, you know, I don't pay very much at all for rent, and compared to Chicago, it's probably like one third the amount that I would be paying. Um, so I have been saving actually a lot of money in residency, surprisingly. <laughs> residents, some of the senior residents, they've gone on to like fellowships. They usually get their first choice. They get whatever like jobs that they want. Um, and so I think that speaks a lot about like the strength of the program. Hi, my name is Jin Hon Jo. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm Jonathan Rubenstein from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hi, I'm Miranda Stokes. I'm from Fairview, Tennessee. My name is Mark Schlotterback, and I am a resident here at the University of Illinois College of Medicine in Peoria Psychiatry Residency. Hi, I'm Kamalika. I'm a PGY3 resident here at the UE Comp Psychiatry Program in Peoria, Illinois. Jay Clore, I'm the Associate Program Director for the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine here in Peoria. Once I interviewed, I really thought this program this, pro this program is really special. I'm Raf Shemturk. I just completed my psychiatry residency at UECOMP, and uh, I can honestly say that it has been an absolutely amazing uh, training experience. I had a great experience in addiction psychiatry, geriatric psychiatry, and child psychiatry. So really, I mean, you get a little bit of everything that you could ask for here. Um, one of the main things I love about it is how awesome all the residents are. We get along super well. We hang out all the time. I think what sticks with me most is the sense of camaraderie and friendship that I've gained over the last three years here. Uh, I didn't even know about the Peoria program um, until I started applying to residencies and I'm so glad that I found it. We have a lot of fun during our didactics. Um, I think there's a lot of laughter per capita for the whole program. Um, I have incredibly supportive co-residents. The faculty here are great. And really, it's true, everyone in the Midwest is super accommodating, hospitable, and friendly. So it is true what they say. Um, so I absolutely recommend coming here. Uh, pretty consistently, residents have been able to get their top choice uh, in terms of what they want to do afterwards, whether it's fellowship or employment. I tell people that this is like a hidden gem. So if you're watching this, you found the hidden gem. It's a great place to collaborate and to feel like you're really making a difference when you get involved. We hope you'll come to Peoria.